Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This is going to be a little bit different video compared to what I normally do. Uh, you will mostly have been seeing like stream highlights and stuff uh, from whenever I stream. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Link it down in the description. Go give that a follow if you care. Um, but I thought I wanted to try and create one of these tier videos that you probably have seen a lot of floating around the internet in the past couple of months. Um, and Fall, Fall Guys has been one of my newest um, additions to my streaming schedule, and I'm actually more than certain that it will become my main uh, streaming game because it's, it's a lot of fun and I really like playing it. Um, if you don't know what Fall Guys is, there's a very slim chance you've even clicked on this video. Um, but basically it is a game where you play a character in a game show. Um, and you are entered into a um, competition with 60 or 59 other uh, co uh, contestants. And it's about, like, it's about winning. <laughs> Be the best fall guy in that game, and you win. Uh, it's kind of like Wipeout esque, or like a Japanese game show. Those types of uh, of shows. Um, and there's a lot of different rounds. Twenty eight, I believe, if uh, my math checks out. Um, and I'm gonna rank them, basically. So yeah, let's uh, let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna be ranking these. Based on my personal opinion, obviously. So if you have a different list or different opinion, that's completely fine. You can uh, like tell me about it in the comments. And this is basically what I think whenever a uh, game loads up and I'm like, okay, how excited am I to be playing this game? Um, so it could be either excitement-wise, is it boring, is it... Uh, it has it a lot. Is it, does it have a lot of glitches at the moment? Does it? Uh, is it? Is it based like too random? Whether you win or not, like, do you have any impact on on how you do uh, and stuff like that? Um, and this is in the middle of season two, I believe. We're in, like right around the middle of season two, so take uh, everything with a grain of salt if you're watching this in the future. Um, so yeah, Block Party is a uh, pretty middle of the road game. It's a little bit boring. Uh, not much happens, at least for the most part, in the beginning. It's it's only in the final like ten seconds. It actually gets difficult, um, and at that point, it's quite random. Can if you're lucky eliminate a lot of uh, enemy players, but usually doesn't. Pretty weak game mode, in, in my opinion. Gate crash, fantastic uh, race. Um, it's definitely on towards the top here. Uh, there's a lot of skill, and you can can really learn the pattern of the gates. Um, a lot of people don't, but but it's it's definitely possible. And I don't really feel like there's any random element. Let's fuck it. Actually, let's put it up. Put it up to an S tier. Uh, I may like rearrange later, but but right now it's 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 actually one of the best ones in my opinion. DoorDash. Now here's one with a lot of random elements. Um, you can be leading all the way towards the last door, and then if you mess up, you just get stampeded by the mob that is right behind you, and you can actually end up not qualifying. Um, Whenever I see this one in the beginning, I'm like, oh, really, again? <laughs> um, I don't think it's the worst. I don't think it's an F tier, but, but it's definitely down there. It's a D tier. Uh, X Scramble. A lot of people hate this one. I don't, personally. It's, it's, I don't love it, but it, I don't hate it either. Um, I think it's C tier. It's pretty middle of the road for me. I uh I have a tendency to do fairly well. I try to go for the team that has the fewest X because that's the most consistent way of actually qualifying. Um it's actually actually let's let's put it down there. Uh it's 
it's a very different game mode depending on how many people are actually in the game. So if you have like four people on each team, it's it's a lot better than if you have like ten people on each team because it gets very it gets very chaotic and you try to grab an egg, you grab an enemy, or you try to grab an enemy, you grab an egg. It's just yeah, it's too too chaotic, and the grab mechanic in this game is is not good enough to support a game mode like this at the current state as it is. Uh, fall ball, um, quite chaotic. It's a team game, just like X Scramble, but like you can't really do too much to win other than try and, and get lucky. It it's a ve- it's very weird. I don't uh, I, I don't know. I think it's it's a bit it's better because it's not quite it's more exciting and it's not quite as uh, chaotic or random as DoorDash or X Scramble. And some of the variations they've introduced in the middle of season one really, really did good for that game. Fall Mountain. Uh, I know this one is a very polarizing one. Some people would put it F. Some people would put it S. Um, I really like it. Uh, when I first started out, when I was still bad in garbage and didn't have any wins under my belt, I hated it. It, it felt too random and, and like you couldn't really do anything. Um, but I've definitely come to love it more. Uh, I think it's S tier actually, in terms of the finals. It's borderline A, I think. Let's let's start. Let's put it in A, and then we'll we'll see where uh, where we go from there. Uh, slime climb S tier. Every time I see it, I love it. Uh, again, with as with X scramble, the fewer people in it, the better. Uh, because of the chaotic start, oops, because of the chaotic start with the uh, trampoline triangle and stuff. You can obviously just run around, run around and, and yay, done with that. Uh, and if you get a good start, it's, it's very easy to just steamroll all the way to the end. Uh, it's very skill-based, which I love. Super good. Fruit Jute. Now this one... This one sucks. This one. This one sucks. <laughs> uh, does it suck as much as DoorDash and X Scramble? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's pretty shit. Um, it's pretty shit. It's not F tier, but it's it's pretty shit. Maybe it's F tier. We'll see where I put all the all the rest. I'm not quite sure. Hit parade. Uh, it's B tier, not much to be said. It's a race, it's fine. It's a little bit skill based, but can also get very random, especially with the uh, the variation they introduced in uh, the middle of season one. With instead of the re- revolving doors, they have the spinners. I hate those. They 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 suck because people do not know how to jump in this game apparently, and when people don't know how to jump, they get shot into you, so you fall over. And that sucks. Uh, yeah. It beats you. Hexagon. Straight up to S tier. I think everybody can agree with that. It's it's definitely the most widely agreed upon. Uh, Hexagon and Slime Climb. Actually, let's put, put like, switch these two. Hexagon and Slime Climb are, are from what I've heard, and for, from the statistics I've seen, the the favorite, the fan favorites, and, and it is for me as well. Hexagon is, is so good, and I love seeing it whenever we get to the finals. Um, actually, now that I think about it, that's what I used to think. <laughs> yeah, this I haven't planned anything for this uh, video. I'm just gonna go with it, go with the flow. Actually, let's put it down to eight here. Now that I think about it, because. There's a glitch where if you're very unlucky and you have like three uh, of the hexagons and you hit in the middle, in, right in between, you can actually fall straight through a plane, um, which sucks. And that, that puts it at A tier for me. They may fi- they probably fi- will fix that uh, in one of the upcoming ep- uh, updates. But as of right now, it's A tier. Hoarders, that's ball ball. Combined with a scramble, uh, it's D tier. Let's switch these two around. I think it's a no, nah, not DoorDash. Is, 
Mm, at least one, these two are interchangeable, I think. Yeah. It's D tier. Hoopsie Daisy team game, but you can actually do stuff and be good and yeah. B tier. Not much to be said either. If there's something you would like 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 me to explain, comment and I will uh, try and uh, explain why I picked or placed various games game modes in various tiers. Hoopsie Daisy B tier. Kings is another team game. I think it's C tier, top C tier, borderline B. Very chaotic, and if you have a bad team that don't know how to run away from people or grab people, um, there's just not much you can do. Jump club, pretty good. A little bit boring, but very solid. Um, I can't remember the last time I I I, I died from uh. From jump club, and if I did, it was usually it's usually been because another guy has been grabbing me and suicided with me. So, <laughs> yeah. Jump showdown, jump club, but better because the platforms fall down and you have smaller area to uh, stay on. I think actually I'll I'll. Uh... But then again, I have hexagon and fall mountain here, and I think I like them more than 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 jump showdown. Yeah, let's 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 do this and put this one down here. Yeah. They're still gonna be like at the bottom. Let's actually I think I wanna switch these two around. They're they're very close to each other, Fall Mountain and Hexagon for me. Um but since this has still has the, the buck, it's very rare, but it can happen with where you fall down through the tiles. Uh at the same time, jump showdown. Also has to has a jump but bu bug where sometimes it just eats your input. Uh, hasn't been too bad for me lately, but but it can still happen. Perfect match F tier. It's the worst game. It's it's gonna be all the, like if I put more F tiers, it's gonna be all the way to the right. I hate I hate perfect match. It's so boring and if people do pay just a little bit of attention, nobody's gonna be uh, eliminated from it. Rock and roll. That's a fine one. The team game, on par with Hoopty Daisy, to be honest. Better than Jinxed. B tier. Yeah, B tier. Rollout. Mm, this one is, is such a polarizing one for me. It's a little bit boring, but also quite exciting. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird one. Mm. I think I'm gonna put it in C tier. Do I like it more than Fall Ball Block Party? I think so. I think we're gonna put it here. I think, yeah. Dizzy Heights. Ooh, that's oh what that's the wrong one. Dizzy Heights. That's a good one. A tier. I like it when I see it. Dizzy Heights is a good good race. Um you can do some fun stuff in the beginning where if you find the optimal passing, it's really good and with the variations they've introduced. Uh, becomes a lot, lot more fun, especially with the uh, occasional uh, big yeetus at the bottom or at the end. Uh, I mean, so yeah, it's pretty good. Royal fumble. Now this is definitely the worst final by far. Um, I think, I think it beats here. It's very stressful, and I don't like it when whenever I see it as a final. It's definitely my least played final as well, so that could probably uh, um, contribute. Contribute, wow, English speaking, contribute to that feeling. Um, but but these three are just much better, in my opinion, at least. Seesaw, mm, C tier, pretty bad. Don't like it, but better than these. It's garbage down here. I'll probably move some of these down to F tier, actually, now that I think about it. Tail tech. Mm. I think... I think it goes into D tier. I don't know. That's, I kind of want to put it right next to Royal Fumble, because they're so similar. But I just like... Like, the map of Royal Fumble is better than the one of, on Tail tech, in my opinion. 
there's more, like a lot more fun stuff you can do on it and better ways to juke your opponents than com compared to tail tag so tail tag gets a few points deducted from that because of that let's put it let's put it there between block party and full ball it's really hard this like a lot of these are very close together team tail tag f tier bad map a team game it's tail tag like it's just bad nobody likes this one i don't think at least if you do you're weird uh, nah. If you're, of course, entitled to your opinion, just know that your opinion is wrong. <laughs> ah, just kidding. Um, Tiptoe. Tiptoe. Very chaotic. Not too fun, honestly, at this point. Uh, I've seen they are gonna introduce some uh, variation with a big Yeetus underneath the first couple of tiles where you can uh, get launched almost all the way into the finish goal, or into the finish. Uh, which is going to make it a lot better, but as of right now, B tier. I don't like Tiptoe. Whirly Gig, heck yes, that's an a S tier right there. Uh, on par with, actually better than Gate Crash, just below Slime Climb for me. I really love the Whirly Gig. You can do a lot of fun stuff in the beginning and hope that you get launched real far because of the spinners. Um, and even if you don't, it's still a skillful enough map to where if you know what you're doing, you can easily uh like catch back up and, and qualify. So I, I love the Willy Geek. It's one of my favorite startings or it's it is my favorite starting race. Uh for sure. Alright, on to season two, the four games that were introduced in season two. We have X Siege. Now this is exactly what X scramble should have been from the very beginning. Uh, much bigger map, a lot more of like much more fun obstacles to run around. Uh, um, a tier, honestly, it's it's really good. I love playing X each, uh, and I have some good strategies that makes me feel like I can qualify almost every time. Uh, it's the same strat with X scramble, just easier to execute. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, Night Fever. Uh, Night Fever is a great race. Um, definitely up here on the top. I think if we should compare it with some of these, definitely goes above Jump Showdown, Jump Club. No doubt about it. Um, yeah, let's just uh, actually put it. Let's put it in S tier. And now that I think about it, this height should definitely be above Jump Showdown and Jump Club. Yeah, yeah. Well, guys, uh, as of right now, the grab mechanic sucks, um, which definitely deducts a few points. I think we're going to put it A tier because it is actually one of the best games introduced in the new uh, season. But the grab mechanic sucks, so it's really hard to grab onto ledges. And e even when you do, every now and then, you just fall off for no apparent reason. It's really... It's really weird. That's just how it is. And Hoops and Legends, the last one. Which will round out our tier list. Uh, let's say tier. Again, some grab mechanics that are weird. Sometimes it bugs when you try to go through a ring and if you just barely land on the top of the ring, like if you have a ring here and just like uh, land right there and bounce through, sometimes it doesn't register, uh, which sucks. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think that's it. Let's see if, we, if there's anything we need to, to change. Um, I think Tiptoe needs to go above, like, there, I think. Um, in each tier, they're not necessarily in order, but I've tried to keep them in order. So, like, Slime Climb is my absolute favorite. Actually, let's switch these two around. Perfect Match is my least favorite of all time. So yeah, that rounds out my tier list. Um, if you want to, please check out my Twitch channel in the description down below. Stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. And I uh, hope to see you there. I will most likely be playing Fall Guys. So if that's something you're into, hit me up and I will see you there. Bye.